Hello and welcome. You are watching Polymer Update TV, the only TV in the world with the Daily Petrochemicals News Show with Simran Chaudhary and Pratiksha Garkera. Our sponsor for today is Telly based Chandan Polymers. Established in 2011, Chandan Polymers is a dealer in HIPS milky reprocessed and HIPS cre reprocessed material. Let's start with domestic market news. In market rumors, most market players are of the opinion that PP, PE, and PVC prices are likely to be rolled over by domestic producers today. Moving on to energy news. Crude oil prices gained on Tuesday on the back of imposition of the first round of sanctions against Iran by the US coupled with a drop in crude inventories in the US. WTI traded at $69.17, a rise of $0.16 cents per barrel, while Brent finished at $74.65, up $0.90 cents per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, NYMAX WTI futures were crawling up early Wednesday on the back of a 6 million barrel drawdown in commercial US crude inventories reported by the American Petroleum Association. The drawdown in US crude inventory reported by API was playing tug of war with a fresh bout of bearishness from the latest escalation in the trade dispute between the US and China. Open spec NAFTA prices edged higher by 1 US dollar per metric ton to the 669 US dollars per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In Asia market update for PP, PE and PVC, polypropylene prices marched higher in Far East Asia by 20 to 30 US dollars per metric ton. In Southeast Asia, prices of PP gained by 10 US dollars per metric ton. Prices firmed mainly on account of improved buying sentiments coupled with bullish PP futures on the Italian Commodity Exchange in China. In India, PP prices quoted stable this week. In polyethylene, HTPE prices in Far East Asia were assessed higher by 5 to 15 US dollars per metric ton owing to a lift in demand trends in the region. In Southeast Asia, prices remain stable. LGPE prices gained by 15 US dollars per metric ton in Far East Asia on the back of improved regional buying trends. In Southeast Asia, prices of LGP were assessed steady. LLTPE prices in the Far East and Southeast Asian region climbed by 10 to 30 US dollars per metric ton. The price rise was in line with strong buying coupled with bullish LLTPE futures on the Dalian Commodity Exchange in China. In polyvinyl chloride, this week prices of PVC were assessed steady in China and Southeast Asia. Regional buying trends were reported as low. In India, PVC prices remained stable. The purchase pulse, however, was described by many local players as soft on the back of weaker seasonal demand trends. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On August 8, 2018, LLGPE prices remained steady from the previous settlement at 9,635 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are down by 36 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 10,096 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are up by 25 RMB per metric ton from the previous settlement at 7,285 RMB per metric ton. Moving on to plant news, Shen Wanningzia Coal has shut one of its two polypropylene units for a maintenance turnaround. The company has halted operations at the unit on August 2, 2018. The unit is likely to restart in mid-August 2018. Located at Ningxia province of China, the PP plant comprising of two units have a production capacity of 200,000 metric ton per year each. Polymer Update has come up with monthly automobile industry insights for India as a value addition for its customers. The monthly report prepared by our in-house experts provides a 360-degree overview of the local automobile industry, providing regulatory issues, technological development, key international issues and latest trends affecting the industry. Visit polymerupdate.com to download the detailed report. To read all these stories and more on polymers and petrochemicals, you can log on to polymerupdate.com. From me and the team, that's all for today. Many thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Polymer Update. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymerupdate and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.